speak clearly into the microphone. Now tell me again what she said. Verbatim? Shit, where do I start? Uh, let me see here. Well, first off, she said that being married to me was one of the worst things she'd done with her life. Go on. Said she'd rather have sex with a cow, which technically is impossible. Well, cows are female. That's what I said. Well, since we're on the topic, what was sex like with her? Um, uh, infrequent. Was it good? Well, I mean, most of the time she only liked when we role-played. I'm not familiar. Please explain. Well, she would dress me up like someone famous. Her favorite was Mel Gibson from Braveheart, you know, with the blue face and the loincloth. She even made me do the fucking accent. Then and only then would she even let me near her poussoir. Her poussoir? It was the name she made me call her badge. That's hot. Uh, yeah, I suppose it is kind of hot. Mmm, meow. Hey, Doc, you're not gonna go polish your rocks later with this tape, are you? No, but go on. Listen, Doc, can we maybe get off the subject of sex for a minute here, please? Uh, you know, it looks like we only got about one minute left, Luther. Did she have any food fetishes? What? You know, like being drizzled in chocolate sauce, whipped cream, chimichanga on the titty. You know what? Fuck this. I'm out of here. You crazy guy, Doc. Crazy guy. Now, Mr. Rhymes, I told you you can't sit in my chair. Go have a seat on the couch. So, where would you like to start today? Your marriage or your obsession with other people's sex lives?